In this video, we provide the solution to question number 13 for practice exam number three for math 1050. We're given a polynomial. F is 2x to the sixth minus 18x to the fourth plus x squared minus nine. Notice that the fifth, third, and first powers are missing from that polynomial. Um, we're supposed to then use synthetic division where we divide F by X minus C, where in this case, C is negative three. And then we'll analyze that. But let's first do the synthetic division. So there's a space below to do exactly that. Write down the coefficients of F in descending order. Make sure you don't skip over any places. So we have the X squared. We have zero X to the fifth. It's important to remember that. Negative 18 X to the fourth, zero X cubed, one X squared, zero X, and then negative nine like so. And then we're dividing by negative three. I should say we're dividing by x minus uh, negative three, so x to plus three, but you always put the, you put the intercept here, the root, uh, which in this case is negative three. So let's proceed to do the calculation, drop down the two, so you get a two right there. Two times negative three is negative six, plus zero is negative six, times two, uh, excuse me, times negative three is going to be positive 18, and minus 18 is zero. That's kind of fun. Zero times negative three is zero plus zero is zero. Okay. Uh, times negative three is still zero. Um, plus one, we're going to get a one this time. One times negative three is negative three plus zero is negative three. Negative three times negative three is a positive nine. And then negative nine plus nine is zero. That then gives us the remainder. So the first question, now that we've done the synthetic division, was C a root? Well, if the remainder is zero, you have a root. If the remainder is not zero, then we don't have a root. So in this case, since the remainder is zero, we can then say definitely that um, C is in fact a root. Okay, that's great. Uh, so then the next part, is C in lower bound? Is it an upper bound or is it neither? Now, since C is a negative number, being an upper bound is not possible. Only positive uh, C's can be upper bounds and negatives could be lower bounds. Of course, the answer could be neither, whichever. But since C is negative, I know it can't be an upper bound. So let's check. Now, if you're trying to be a negative a lower bound for a negative number, you should see an alternation of signs always. Plus negative, plus negative, plus negative. Now be careful on this one, zeros count as wild cards. So this is a positive, this is a negative. The next one's a zero, so yeah, you can have a positive zero. The next one is a zero again, so that can be negative. Again, zero is a wild card in that case. So we have positive, negative, positive, negative. Uh, the next one is then one, which is positive. The next one is then negative three. Uh, and then again, zero in this case would be it's whatever you want, it's positive. So we see that alternation of sign, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Um, even with the zeros, again, zeros act as wilds in this case. So since we see that, since we see that uh, alternating sign each time, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, that does tell us that C is in fact a lower bound. So the correct answer after we've done the synthetic division is that C is a root and it's a lower bound. So any other roots of this polynomial would have to be larger than negative three.